Hey guys. Welcome to Couple. Please like and subscribe if you like the video. With the mega success of Black Panther, Michael B. Jordan has suddenly become one of the world's biggest leading men. Quite an achievement, sure, but the aspiring mogul is aiming way, way higher than mere movie star. I want to be worldwide, Michael B. Jordan tells me, describing his movie star aspirations, like Tom Cruise, like Leonardo DiCaprio, like Will Smith. We'd been talking about the kinds of opportunities given to the very biggest male stars at the very top of the upper echelons of Hollywood. I ask him, why Tom Cruise? Your coffee table could use some style. Click here to subscribe to GQ. Coat, $3,495, sweater, $995, and pants, $695, by Ralph Lauren slash blazer, $1,280, by Dries Van Noten slash Boots, $2,660, by Berluti Great Actor, Movie Star. Everywhere, hard worker, Jordan replies. Why Will Smith? Great actor. Extremely hard worker. Focused, business savvy movie star that can open up all over the world. Those are things I want. Why Leo? The Pussy Posse. I ask. Pussy Posse? Woo woo woo, he drawls. That's, your words not mine, man, Jordan says, putting his hands up, professing zero awareness of DiCaprio's once lascivious circle of 90s era pals. I didn't even know that existed. Cool name, he says with a laugh, revealing a dimple as deep and dangerous as a sinkhole in Florida pavement. Leo, he continues. Patient. Makes great choices. Has an air of elusiveness. Jordan wants to be the sort of star who is unimpeachable, and he's found himself, at this stage in his career, suddenly in a place where he can express those lofty ambitions without anyone suggesting he has delusions of grandeur. He's telling me all this in an empty tapas restaurant in an Atlanta hotel. He's a little tightly wound, even though he's dressed to relax Adidas pool slides, socks, Nike joggers, and a grey stadium goods hoodie that wants to be loose but can't. He's got less than 12 hours to learn lines and get some decent sleep before a 5 a.m. call time on the set of Just Mercy, the new film he's starring in alongside Brie Larson and Jamie Foxx. The biopic, centered on death row lawyer Brian Stevenson's best-selling memoir, is one of the first projects Jordan's new company, Outlier Society Productions, is putting out into the world. Hollywood, Jordan says, is getting better for creators of color, because we're starting to realize our worth more and what we bring to the table. It was just over a year ago that he was here in Atlanta, filming Black Panther the film that completed his journey from wiry child star to soap opera actor to full-on celluloid idol. If it was 2013's Fruitvale Station that made everyone realize, damn, that kid can act, and Creed, two years later, that made everyone realize, damn, that kid's a star, it was Black Panther that catapulted him to new heights.